מטבוחה. מה, אני לא מבין, אני לא מבין מה אתה אומר, מה אתה אומר, מה אתה אומר? מטבוחה? מטבוחה. מטבוחה. איזי. היי, אני רון, וזה ליטל. We are the chefs and founder of New York Shook, creators of your Middle Eastern pantry. We're excited to introduce our latest uh, product, Matbucha. Matbucha, not Matbucha. And uh, this product uh, we've been working on for quite a long while. Matbucha is a tomato-based condiment, which is very, very traditional in my side of the family. I'm half Moroccan, so this is where it comes from. For me, matbucha is a celebration of the everyday, because that's exactly what it is for us. You know, I always make sure that we have a batch of matbucha in our fridge, because when, whenever we have a batch of matbucha in the fridge, I know we're sorted. It doesn't matter if we have time to cook, we don't have time to cook. We and we will, don't have time to cook. <laughs> we will have dinner on the table in 10 minutes. This recipe of matbucha has been in my uh, mom's family pretty much forever and ever. There is no such thing as starting a meal without matbucha and the rest of the salads that are, you know, being laid out on the table. Every culture has like their own uh, way to celebrate the bounty of tomatoes. And, you know, I think here we are so fixated with a uh, Italian style of tomato sauce that we think it's time to grow beyond that and really introduce other flavors and culture to the mix. Um, and that's what we're trying to do with the matbucha. So it's somewhat more of a um, chunkier variation of a tomato sauce <laughs> or something like that. Hey, come on, it's fun. Oh my God, this is so fun. <laughs> yeah, you put your thumb here, and then you just go around the thumb. Hold on, hold on. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, making matbucha is more like a, a family affair, just because of the mere fact that you need a lot of tomatoes to make a very small batch eventually of uh, matbucha. And you, you know, to do it all by yourself, that's pretty sad, right? So, uh, you know, you just get a bunch of people to come and uh, mostly, you know, traditionally it would have been, you know, like family, but since Lital and I are just here by ourselves, we, uh, we use our friends as our uh, immediate family. Matbucha, you know, has a very specific significance because it was something that we all, in my family anyways, really, really love. It's made from tomatoes, garlic, chili peppers, so it has a bit of heat to it. It has some tanginess from preserved lemon that is our kind of signature take on it. It adds like a very, you know, like a, tangy. Like tangy. a very tangy uh, sensation to the product. Done. One more time. What's... Mat Matbucha. <laughs> Matbucha. Yeah, perfect. Matbucha. 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 Yeah. Matbucha. <laughs> um, the preserved lemon paste really uh, adds a very strong boost of umami to the product. And, and that's exactly what makes our matbucha our matbucha and not just a traditional matbucha that you would find anywhere else in anybody else's home and everything is cooked low and slow until you get a, a very rich, jammy, tomato-y flavor condiment that you just want to put on everything. So I think when people taste it, they expect like all these kind of bursts of, you know, ethnic flavors and they are surprised by the simplicity and the, how clean the flavor is. It's meant to be consumed straight out of the jar. So that means you can open the jar, you can pu simply put it on bread and eat it as is. And it's delicious as is. It doesn't have to go through any other processes in order to enjoy it. Sometimes I feel like it's easier to say what you can't do with matbucha because we literally use it for like breakfast, lunch and dinner for any and every application. 
You can uh, crack some eggs in it and you're creating your own shakshuka. You can cook uh, chicken or, or beef with it. You can cook lamb with it. You can, you know, like add vegetables into it. But I think again, you know, just matbucha is like a, is such an everyday thing that it's pretty much impossible for me to imagine my life without it. The, the things that would really pop out is going to be, you know, like the flavor of the tomatoes. We have found that in New Jersey, uh, farmers grow a local uh, tomato called uh, Jersey Fresh Tomato. Um, and we were using this type of product in our condiment because for us it just made sense to find the local product just like my grandma used to do back in the 50s and 60s in Israel when they grew their own tomatoes in the backyard. So we can definitely uh, say that we're using a local product for that. We launched with the two new products, Signature Matbucha and Matbucha with olives and mint. You know, a mint and olives are flavors that we use a lot at home and flavors that we enjoy cooking with. And it was important for us to have one pr product which is more uh, spicy and one which is mild. And I think the two of them work together because of that so well. I think it was, we both just thought it was time to expand people's knowledge beyond, you know, the few flavors that people perceive as Middle Eastern and, you know, call it what it is, not just like a, a Moroccan tomato sauce or a Tunisian tomato sauce. You know, it's not the easiest of a, let alone people don't know how to pronounce it. They're like very apprehensive about it, but we feel like so strongly about First of all, how these flavors can like really impact like the day-to-day -day cooking that we really kind of saw the value in putting it out there no matter how difficult it may be. The main thing is to kind of to give respect, you know, from wh where these flavors are coming from uh, and to take it to where we think it should be now. And we think matbucha is that flavor to start with. <laughs> The way that you write matbucha is M-A-T-B-U-C-H. The way it's pronounced is matbucha. Uh, you have C -H -A. the C H A. That's what I said. C -H -A. No, you said C H. I said C H. I didn't say C H A. Oh, <laughs> okay, you're. It's gonna really do, hard. You're gonna do it now. No, no, you did good. No, no, ah, all of a sudden it's, uh, yeah.